a couple of weeks ago, James Salter died. Um, I don't think any novelist, um, since I became a published novelist, has had such a profound effect on me. There are obviously those writers that we grow up with that have an indelible influence, um, even if we can't spot it ourselves. I think other people can spot it. But James Salter, I, you know, I read late, um, or came too late in my 40s, my late 40s, my late 40s, I'm in my late 40s, my early 40s. Um, and I was just astonished. I heard him speak on a Guardian podcast, interviewed by Sarah Crown, um, and he read a section of um, Light Years here, um, which is uh, the second and third paragraph of chapter two, um, which I think is probably my favourite piece of writing of all time. And maybe astonishingly, it is a young woman, early 20s, in her kitchen at her sink. And it is astonishing. I'm not going to read it. Um, uh, but it's, uh, you know, I recommend for anyone who is interested in creative writing, if you're thinking about learning about the short sentence, the, call, the the impact of the short sentence, the luminescence of the short sentence, then I think um, this opening to chapter two of Light Years is uh, the most extraordinary. Um, and when I teach creative writing, um, I get people to read this book and we work on the short sentence. Um, uh, you know, Hemingway, obviously, is the, the, the writer that, that springs to mind as the great writer of short sentences, but I think possibly um, he is eclipsed by, by James Salter. Um, James Salter, I have all his books, but one here, um, even his travel writing, which very few people have read, it says uh, there and now, James Salter. I'm missing one volume of his um, memoirs, um, which goes with Burning the Days, which is this one here. Um, I didn't actually start with Light Years as much as I love it deeply. I started with The Hunters. The thing about James Salter is that, of course, unlike most uh, writers, he was first first a uh, fighter pilot in the Korean War and extremely handsome. Um, but he left uh, to become a writer um, and he died at 89 and didn't didn't write a great deal, and I think this is a shame. Um, but I think what's important is that he spent, he wrote a couple of screenplays, uh, Downhill Racer, I don't think a great movie, by um, uh, which starred Robert Redford. Um, but he was slightly too enamoured with the glamorous life and with the pursuit of women. Um, and I think that stopped him writing um, a lot because he followed a lot of screenwriting leads because um, it pays better and uh, you meet lots of glamorous and attractive women which is very important to him um, but in the end you get what you get and he wrote um, four novels or five novels and two volumes of short stories and two memoirs um, I love Light Years deeply. The Hunters, his Korean war novel, is extraordinary, his first novel. That was actually made into a film, but I don't think we can ignore that. Um, and then the book that I suppose kind of made him famous, A Sport and a Pastime. And A Sport and a Pastime is how the Quran uh, describes sex, which is interesting. Um, I think it's interesting in two ways. One, that the Quran describes sex in that way. And the other is that uh, James Salter decides to call a very strange novel set in the less glamorous time to, um, towns of southern France, um, a, a kind of a kind of sexual odyssey um, set in slightly gloomy hotel restaurants. Um, but it is just extraordinary. I mean, I'm just going to say that over and over again. Um, uh, once again, I'm not going to read it, but if I look too much, I will just spend my time reading it. Um, 
But the, I think the key thing about James Salter is is well, there's two key things: is, is that he's you know he's a writer of of of, gr of great prose, possibly the the greatest, most controlled prose. Um, you know, there are other writers: Proust, Roth, Brodkey. Whatever, that, 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 you know, write great prose, but there is some sort of, there's a sort of, um, it has the kind of flow of, of, of the rivers, of, of nature, whereas this is much more uh, sculpted, man-made, artificial. I think one of my arguments about the genius of Salter is that, that most writers spend their time thinking they've got to get beneath the service, service surface they got to get beneath the surface of people to reveal their character and James Salter rather brilliantly thought if I absolutely describe perfectly the surface I might discover something um, about the inside of people from that surface I that I that's not right um, for example um, um, that if you describe someone from the outside in, you might go travel a different path than if you just actually try and start from the inwardly and bring people out, create them from the in from the inwards, um, from the interior outwards. Um, and so his novels are full of the superficial in a way. But only it's this description of of people going about their business, um, and from that I think we learn new things about people. So he's a very important writer in terms of form. But anyway, um, I was only going to make this five minutes, and it's seven minutes already. Um, I, I you know, if you haven't read James Salter, if you're interested in writing, if you're interested in prose first then I suggest you read James Salter and you can start with Light Years, my favourite paragraph ever. Um, uh, Sport and a Pastime is an extraordinarily um, intoxicating novel. The Hunters, if you want a little bit more action. Um, and then Solar Faces, which is, uh, 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 actually he's written five novels because he, he wrote one um, published a couple of years ago. But um, Solar Faces about rock climbing. He was a very outdoorsy man as well as a indoorsy lover of fine food, fine wine, and uh, fine women. Um, and then there were short stories. Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of short stories. Um, his are good. They don't feel great to me, although people think they are. But it's all about the sentence and the paragraph and uh, a kind of glow a, a, a radiance off the um, off the page with those perfectly controlled sentences uh, so if you love writing and you haven't read James Salter please read James Salter if you want to write then he is the master of the of control he's the master of the short sentence and um, you will be a better writer for it um, I'm certainly a better writer for it. Um, I wrote my second novel, my second published novel, Saving Caravaggio, has is a very short sentenced um, expression, and this was before I read James Salter. But I think James Salter has just allowed me to write short sentences with a little bit more um, confidence in, in in what they can in what they can deliver in what they can express. Um, so that's it. Um, James Salter, um, uh, rest in peace. Your novels, I'm sure, will live on. And if they don't become the great, aren't seen to be the great masterpieces of the 20th century, perhaps in the shadow of Roth or um, Hemingway or uh, Saul Bellow, um, there will always be writers um, who simply think you're the master and I may as well give up.